Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more missing and murder women and children cases. I'm here to break the codes if I see any. I'm here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And I'm also here to see if they alive to see the body suited. We be talking about an elderly woman named Pat Moss, 77, grandmother with Alzheimer's, vanished in 2011, okay? She didn't have it, but some old people in the group, in the code do. Okay, especially Caroline Bryan. Okay, this is how she looks. Okay, she also says she's in a flash can. The loved ones of Pat Moss have never given up on finding out what happened to her back in 2011. Today, September the 4th, marks the 10-year anniversary since the beloved grandmother went missing from Riverdale, Georgia. We often read about cases involving mayhem and murder, but it is speculated that 77-year-old Pat Moss may have wandered away from her home to confusion. In confusion. No, she said. Reports, she's on, she's very smart. Reports states that this decade old case had run code as authority had exhausted leads. Pat's nephew, Charles Brown, no, spoke with WBS TV back in 2014 and was in disbelief as he questioned how a person who was connected to their loved ones could just disappear without a phrase that shots to me, okay? And my daughter, okay? This is how she also looked. I feel horrible. I feel really sad for my mother. It's her sister. And my other aunt, they are our family, is really, really small. And there's not many of us here. Shaw said at the time, we have to, we have to have hope. It's all we have left in a situation like this. Pat was reportedly diagnosed with both dementia and Alzheimer's the disease. And she reportedly suffered from bouts of confusion and memory loss before going missing. In the onset of the investigation to her missing person case, Pat's loved ones passed out flyers door to door and kept the case at the forefront of people's mind in the Riverdale area for as long as they could. Um, so she is being body with your codes, okay, the your shots. Not long after Pat went missing, a woman called authorities and told them that she gave the grandmother a ride to the Hassafield Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, about 15 to 20 minutes from Riverdale. Pat Miles reportedly expressed that she wanted to see her sister who lived in California. However, there was no indication that Pat pushed a plane ticket. Soon, leads dried out and police did not have any idea what happened to her. It is considered a cold case, but our cold cases are always active cases. We continue to work them, said Clayton County Police Captain Angel Angelo Daniel. We, the shots. We haven't had any leads, and we encourage anyone with information to come forward. It is critical that we speak with them. This is also how she looked, but this is a bodysuit, though. Somebody in her bodysuit. Could be that Angelo person, or that Charles person. It could be the, uh, it could be Murphy, the, the night sleeper. Auntie. Nephew Charles added, we are going to keep hope alive. I'm going to keep working back to Atlanta as often as I can so that no one forgets my aunt Pat. At the time of her disappearance, Pat Moss stood six feet tall and ready to be from 160 to 190 pounds. She had dark brown hair and brown eyes. Pat was last seen wearing a flower blouse and a long blue skirt. She would poorly speak with a Jamaican or Caribbean accent. Pat did not drive and Polly also went by the names George Walker, George Cook, Pat Selena Walker, Pat Selena Ross, and Pat Selena Moss. She would have been 87 years old at the time of this publication. Okay, some shots right there with the names. So, so I can work on them. My family can work on them. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Clayton County Police Department at 770-477-3747. Thank you. Or seven seven zero four seven seven three four zero six, or their local authorities. The agency case number is one one zero four three eight zero nine. Please share this story about Pat Moss to him bring her home. She is our sister, and her life matters. Hope y'all enjoy. Um, if y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. If y'all want to donate to my nonprofit organization, y'all can down below. I don't do it for the fame or the money. Me personally, I don't do it. It don't go to me. The money don't go to me. Okay, go to the families. Um, I just do it because it's what I love to do, okay? Do what I was sent here for, okay? Um, so I did something to job, okay? I'm out. Peace.